And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Aggro. That's right, we're going to be playing some They Who Endure. First time playing They Who Endure with some new cards from Call of the Mountain. We got Stalking Shadows and Unspeakable Horror. So we got some, some good new tools for this deck. And this is going to be our first time trying it out. Now you can see the list that I'm going to be playing is going a little bit old school. I'm going Omen Hawk. I'm going Averroes and Century. I just love those cards. I think they're awesome. I think Neverglade Collector is awesome in a deck like this. So we're going to be going a little old school with some of these card choices, but I think it's going to work out really well for us and pretty excited to play this one. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Endure Aggro. Over in Ranked, we're going to go play our five games. And again, not the most popular list, but a list that I think is going to do well and the one that um, I recommend playing. So let's let's try this out. Yes, if War Chefs was a permanent buff, it would be good enough to play as a 1-3. Yeah. Um, it, it would, but... Man, I am, I am very sad about that War Chefs change. Because, yeah, it is, it is kind of like with Shadow Assassin. They said the same thing. We're going to nerf Shadow Assassin because Shadow Assassin's played too much. And we want to see other cards played instead of Shadow Assassin. Well, do you know what the result was? You just don't play Ionia anymore. You can't because Shadow Assassin's not good enough. It was the card holding up Ionia. Nerfing War Chefs like this, I am very sad about that. But it's, it's kind of a, a card that was holding up... It's a card that's holding up Demacia, honestly. It's like the most important card in Demacia. All my various random Demacia decks with Shen um, and Fiora and Garen. You know, like my Demacia Noxus decks or just whatever, you know, like I... Ugh. I need my warships. <laughs> Alright, saving the glimpse beyond for whenever they target. Oh, I I don't know what I'm doing. I definitely should have done the curse keeper. Sorry, I was just mad about my warships. I definitely I was just kinda of had that in my mind, but I should have been I should have been targeting the curse keeper so that yeah, like that was just really bad. I needed to target the Curse Keeper because then it would die and it would pump up the 1-1. The one, one. Alright, well this game has gone very poorly for me. has gone very poorly for me. Mostly by my own doing. I understand no card should be in every deck, but I think there should be format staples. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing, having format staples. Like, there's no PNZ deck that run... That, like, there's P, there, there are definitely Demacia decks that don't play War Chefs, right? Like, a lot of, like, the Dragon decks, for example. War Chefs is not in every single Demacia deck. You have a card like Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's in every single PNZ deck, right? Like, there's... You can't play PNZ and not play Mystic Shot. Before, you really didn't play Ionia and, like, I, Shadow Assassin basically was in every Ionia deck, but Warships is not in every Demacia deck. It is not. I 
I don't really know why I didn't play the... Uh, oh, maybe... Oh, yeah, I didn't have the room. That's why. I was like, why didn't I play the Omenhawk before combat? I didn't have the room. That's right. Let's get a 9-9 nine -nine in here. Maybe they don't have another one of those stun cards. You cannot win. Uh, excuse you. I uh, Okay. We will put it back in our hands. So force them to have that, right? We force them to have both a stun card and a bounce card, or, you know, like, two of those. I like that. I like being aggressive. Like we were. So the They Who Endure is not, not ephemeral anymore. I didn't really realize it was going to do that. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Everyone's a god. I didn't really realize this was going to be non-ephemeral now. That's pretty cool. Their deck probably is playing health potions though. So we got to watch out for health potions, and obviously they have a lot of answers to atrocity. With like deny and will of Ionia and stuff like that. That's a good card because it costs so little mana. That card was perfect, that Steel Tempest, because then they still had the 5 mana for Will of Ionia. Deny, all that kind of stuff to respond to Atrocity with. need are five one mana burst spells it's gonna be difficult to have five one mana burst spells that's gonna do eight damage to me to put me down to two where all they need then is just one burst spell so I, I think I gotta go for this now the 
body must thrive for the mind to be free. That's maybe a good sign for us. That's a good... No! Never mind. GG's. They had the answers. That was a good game, though. But yeah, I can't be mad. I mean, it's... I need to not make that mistake on turn three. But it was a good, close game. This is a perfect hand. Um, this is the perfect one, two, three. Especially having the attack token on turn three also. I could have like just kept they who endure, honestly. It does... I don't know. This Maybe I should just keep they who endure even though we don't need it till turn seven. Just Okay, we got a they who endure back. We weren't expecting callers. I've got your back. Good, no make it rain. Good. I don't think that they really play make it rain. Besides the champion spell from Misfortune. Honor guide me. Everyone's a garden. That was the perfect hand. Sorry, opponent, I high rolled. Come, come this way. Add the attack token on turn one and all that stuff. All right, well, they, they had the good response. I mean, as good of a response as you can have, I guess. Not gonna throw Callista out there yet. See, good call, not throwing Callista out there. Because they would challenge and kill Callista. I don't have the mana to caretaker plus black spear. Right, see, so yeah, I wanted to omen hawk first to see what they would do. This is not quite lethal, right? It's eleven. They're at twelve. But we are in a commanding position. I think that's what my opponent was saying. Plus two, plus two, Callista. No. These woods belong to us. All right, we're gonna black spear kill that thing. I kind of assume they're gonna challenge my Callista and kill it, and then uh, we will have new and improved seven six Callista. Does it make sense to play They Who Endure first? Yeah, I think so, right? 
How do they deal with that? I don't know. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's a, that's a good dreamy emote. Good dreamy emote opponent. All right, Omen Hawk, you get to do lethal. Alright, GG's, one on one. We, we have no mercy. All right, we're playing the Endure Mirror. They're they're playing the new list. The people are playing. We're playing the old old list. And so let's see what does better, new or old. We're gonna just mulligan the Endure and Atrocity. But honestly, okay. So my snap decision there was to mulligan those two cards away, as you can see, and then we did. But then I thought about it, maybe we should just keep those two, because it does... I do kind of think that those two are probably the most important cards, right? Like the, the rest of like these little things are just going to be trading off a whole bunch, and you need to have they who endure at the top end, right? So maybe, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that was a mistake. I could get three damage in right now by attacking. Or we can play Callista first. Should be bad against Blighted Caretaker. But they would be using their Blighted Caretaker on defense. So that'd be the good news. That's commanding turn for them with that glimpse beyond drawing them a bunch of cards. The chains, they never stop. Um. I'm scared of Blighted Caretaker here. Okay, don't need to be scared of Blighted Caretaker. up well against me. Well, that's a bad attack. Look out for I get two very easy blocks. They had to put these in front of the 3-2. Should have been four three 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 two one one or one one three two. That 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 part doesn't matter. No, it should have been three two one one, right? No, the other way around. One one then three two. All right. Anyway, um, not the best time for Elise. Nor Neverglade Collector. Everyone's a god. I love that they're using that on defense. Again. Dang. 
The thing is, I don't have... I, I really should have kept that Dehu Endure. Like, maybe not keep the Atrocity, but I need to keep that Dehu Endure, because that's, that's the card that this whole... That's the only important card, honestly. Like, that's... Like, if they have Dehu Endures, I don't. We lose. Right? Like, these are just going to be a bunch of things dying back and forth. We need Dehu Endure. I just instinctively mulliganed it very quickly. And regretted it. Ever since. Oh, Cascade's amazing. That's a perfect... That's, like, the perfect card to get from Unspeakable Horror. My immediate thought was, wow, Pale Cascade's amazing. Why are we not playing Pale Cascade? And then I realized, that's not the correct region. I pull the string. Yeah, I mean, Unspeakable Horror does sometimes generate other units, but it hasn't felt like it. Alright, so we're gonna get this Neverglade Collector in play. What does he want from me? Start this draining going on. So maybe they do not have They Who Endure? Even if they do have They Who Endure, though, it's probably better to just get all those things in play first. Hopefully, no they who endure. Lady Elise, where are you? Yay, no they who endure. Duskfire is a 3 5. 4 5. Because it counts itself. Obviously. I definitely knew that because uh, I play a lot of Dusk Rider. So I definitely knew that. You gotta get out of here. Come, stay a while. Let's hope the size of a they who endure that they could possibly have. Enter, traveler. Yeah, Mentor staring. the Stones is awesome. <laughs> They've been doing good with their randomness. So I'm getting rid of this Elise with a new Elise. I'll turn this Bark Beast into being a 4-3. Get me out of here. 
Yeah, it's possible the last card is Atrocity. That's a possibility. <clears throat> Alright, so my plan is to Unspeakable Horror this Bark Beast, but I guess they could just heal the Bark Beast a bunch first. We still have this 1-1 one, one we can kill. Yeah, that looks like they have. Looks like they have atrocity to go along with undying. That's my guess right now. Pale cascade. That card is awesome. That card is awesome. I pull the strings. All right, so we're gonna, gonna block glimpse beyond. No. Oh. Please don't find they who endure. Yes, no they who endure. That is big. Cause we couldn't really handle they who endure. Take the three. I think we'll just take the three. They're never going to collect or drain in for us. Alright, we were the first one to find they who endure. And GG's. Alright, so what we learned though is do not mulligan away the they who endure. You can mulligan away the atrocity. Do not mulligan away the they who endure. So that's the most important card. Alright, playing again against scouts. We had the perfect hand against scouts last time. Again, turn three attack, and we're gonna have Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker on that. So turn four, will I want Elise? Like, will I want to play Elise plus Glimpse Beyond on turn four? Like, that's the question. That doesn't sound too bad. That doesn't sound too bad. We'll see if it pays off. Smell that? A bite to cook it. You know what? Maybe I should be leading with Elise. Because they don't have time to play a bunch of things yet. So maybe I should have led with Elise on this instead of going with this plus Caretaker. There you are. I don't know. This may be a mistake because I won't have two things to challenge. I'll just have the one thing to challenge. Obviously, we still are doing eight damage, but... Grow up so fast. Favors the bone. So if I would have played Elise on turn two, then I would have just gone to attacks with it immediately. And then played like Sentry or Curse Keeper. And basically saved it for turn five of like maybe turn five I just go Curse Keeper yours. plus Caretaker. Mayhaps. Um I pulled the string. I guess I could trade it for Price Steel Protector, but not if they pump up the Price Steel Protector. Head to the face. My steel is yours. Protect and strike. Eat up, friend. What's your hurry? Give them a chance. That's a good call. 
morning tea time. Babbling Bjerg can now find Overgrown Snapvine, with Overgrown Snapvine being a 5 3. That's a good call. Oh, they had quite the hand this time. I'm really happy for that trade, though. I was, you know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with trading their four drop and a removal spell for my three drop. Pretty sure that's a mistake by them. I think they want Genevieve Elmhart. Like they wanted me to play something, then they play Elmhart, I think. That, that was just a mistake by them. They just let me play my They Who Endure to attack. Now I have that plus atrocity, which I don't think they can stop. You're covered. Don't get ahead of yourself. I don't think they can stop this. Yeah, they had Genevieve Elmhart. They tried to get too fancy. These old eyes still see far and clear. So yeah, they could have concerted strike, they could have double single combat. We have them get this attack in first. They're not challenging something else. Single combat make a rain. Okay. Should have just done this first. I would have played Neverglade Collector first. Could have got a drain for one. Alright, GG's. Playing against some Nightfall. Nocturne Nightfall. Alright, I like this hand. We're going to keep it. I'm going to keep this They Who Endure at the top, especially with me already having early game, so we don't have to really worry about um, looking for early turn stuff. We already got our early turn stuff. Now we can make sure that we have um, a They Who Endure at the top end. In case they... Okay, in case they had like the 1 mana 2-1... Or something, you know, like they had like one drop that they were gonna block here. Um, that Duskbringer or whatever. I pull the string. Like leading with Omen Hawk. This could potentially be double Bark Beast, should be the play, but I don't know. Getting the champions down is good. Man. 
Ballista is so good. But then we don't get this free attack. Oh, we're just playing our 5-4 champion. There's that 2-1. So, Pale Cascade, yep, Block Callista. You leave me no recourse. No surprise there. But we got our 4 damage in and uh, got some cards out of their hand. Got some trading in. Okay, so these two cards are the same. Whatever this card is, that's the Ephemeral. Uh, I guess Caretaker? Hard to pass up. Night descends! Our light grows brighter. Hard pass up more they who endures, but this is what we got to do. Spell Cascade is great. I don't know if y'all know about Pill Cascade. Or not, but that card is great. Alright, so they're discarding I think they're discarding the regular version of Spacey Sketcher, right? Like that wasn't an ephemeral one, did they? That should have been in the slot. I think that one's still the ephemeral one right there. Sorry, Neverglade Collector, we'll play you next turn. And then also have, like, Blighted Caretaker that takes up three slots. It's kind of difficult to play all those cards all together. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. We grow up so fast. All right, got a lot of damage in. So now they're down to seven. I'm not really expecting too much life, like Nexus healing from them. Not expecting that too much. There's not a three or, or less cost Celestial that makes a Nexus healing card, right? I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't, I don't want them to kill my Neverglade Collector. Embrace the darkness. Darkness. Has a dark side. All right, all right, all right. Oh, is that going to give all their things fearsome and then I'm dead? Oh, that's gonna kill me. So I shouldn't lose to. Why did I develop? I was waiting for them to just like to challenge, kill my thing. After combat, I was gonna play Neverglade Collector and Butcher and Butcher and drain him for a couple, kill a couple of things. Then next turn, they who endure. That was my plan. I can't. I can't afford a Pale Cascade killing me if I target, like, Diana. Cloaked 
in silver light. That doesn't kill me, right? Oh no, because then that the Diana gets the other plus two plus zero. Alright, well I guess I shouldn't have lost that game, I'm probably. Yeah, I should have just put the 3-2 down. And then would have had a blocker. Yep. I got too fancy. I kind of forgot about the knock. I, I honestly did. I just haven't, you know, haven't played against Nocturne in a long time. Kind of forgot about the Nocturne level up of make everything fearsome. I forgot about that. And then that, and that I wouldn't be able to block. Um, yeah. You know, that's just what happened there. I got too cozy. It was... Sometimes, like, whenever you're, you're playing a game you're, when you're really far ahead like that and you have, like, you know, you know you're going to be able to be killing them the next turn and they don't really have anything that can stop you from killing them the next turn, you just kind of feel like the game's over and then you kind of stop playing, thinking the, the game's over. And that's what happened to me. So hopefully that's a lesson not to fall into that trap. Um, you know, keep playing the game out, keep, keep uh, paying attention to everything your opponent's doing, all that kind of stuff. I kind of started paying attention to... To chat and stuff and just kind of thought the game was over uh good lesson all right ggs all right so that's endure aggro um both of those losses though were good I and mean, we went three in, this this deck's really strong and i like this version i liked the i liked having avaros and sentry um you know elise omen hawk I, I i honestly like this version the other loss was to was also a big mistake by me on turn three of not adapting to what just happened um it was to Ez karma ezreal that we were ahead you know and then you know karma ezreal does their their one turn thing of play it you're at 20 i'll play ezreal and i'll kill you even though you have an atrocity i'm still going to respond to it and just kill you kind of thing but uh i messed up the turn three in that game with my glimpse beyond i if i would have done the glimpse beyond correctly i would have either had a three two in play or had drawn two cards but i i played it i played my glimpse beyond on the wrong thing and they were able to cancel everything out and i didn't have a three two or this those two cards and obviously that would have made a big difference in a long game uh so yeah so both of those both of those games that i lost were, were definitely ones that um i think i i could have won with different decisions so hopefully that's a, a good lesson there that could have maybe been a 5-0 uh, but we'll get the 2-3 or no the 3-2 never mind 3-2 i was gonna say we would get the 2-3 for in that was what we did with the gangplank sejuani in honor of our fallen comrade of war chefs all right anyway that's endure aggro those y'all watching later on youtube uh hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave all those comments as well i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.